Contour Gold is an intermediate gold producer in Canada focused on one asset, the Detour Lake Mine, located 185 kilometers north of Cochrane, Ontario. With more than 15.5 million ounces of gold in reserves, Detour Lake's open pit operation is considered to be Canada's largest operating gold mine and has a projected mine life of over 21 years. The Detour Lake Mine aims to produce an average of 600,000 ounces of gold per year, with the safety of our people, operations and the environment being a top priority. Join us on the journey and discover the mining cycle of gold production at Detour Lake. From core to pour. Every mine begins by first finding ore, rock that contains gold or other metals. Geologists explore specific areas, and once they find evidence of potential gold mineralization, drilling begins to produce a core sample. This will help determine how big a deposit is. Core samples are then cut in half to be further analyzed to determine the gold content. Before mining an ore body, the rock must first be broken loose to be easily excavated. Holes are drilled in a specific pattern and are loaded with explosives that are then detonated in a controlled manner. Special equipment, known as BMMs, Blast Movement Monitors, help miners track which of the blasted rock contains the gold and which doesn't. Shovels then excavate the ore and load trucks which deliver the ore from the open pit to the primary crusher. Rock that doesn't contain gold is stockpiled in designated areas. Some of this rock may be used for landscaping or building roads. Gold-rich rock from the pit is delivered to the primary crusher, where it is reduced in size before being sent to a stockpile, which ensures that the flow of ore to the process plant remains consistent. Ore from the stockpile needs to be further reduced in size and is fed to one of two secondary crushers. Detour Lake Mine has two parallel secondary crushing and grinding circuits. The crushed ore is then sent to the grinding circuit. The first mill, called a sag mill, is a drum 36 feet in diameter and filled with 5-inch steel balls. As the mill rotates, the balls break down the ore into small particles. Each mill is driven by two 10,000 horsepower motors. From there, the ground ore is fed to cyclones, which determine if particles are fine enough to be sent to the pre-leach thickener. Coarse particles that need to get broken down further are sent to the ball mills. Each mill is 26 feet in diameter and filled with smaller steel balls that further break down the ore into smaller particles as the mill rotates. At this point, depending on the quality of the gold, it will follow one of two paths. Gold that is richer in grade is fed directly to the gravity circuit, where it is sent to one of six centrifugal concentrators. Spinning at a high RPM, very similar to a washing machine spin cycle, gold particles get suspended against the wall of the concentrator by gravitational forces. These particles are then dissolved using cyanide in the ILR, intensive leach reactor. The gold cyanide solution is then pumped to an electro-winning cell where contained gold and silver is ready to pour. Lower grade gold, not sent to the gravity circuit, is pumped from the pre-leach thickener to the leaching circuit. Cyanide and oxygen are added to the slurry to dissolve the gold. At this point, the gold is in a liquid state which is the most effective way to recover it. Once the gold is dissolved in the slurry, it needs to be collected. Coconut shells are the best way to do this. The slurry is passed through the CIP, carbon in pulp circuit, which contains carbon made from coconut shells. Gold particles stick to the surface of the carbon and are recovered through a process called elution. Heating the solution to over 130 degrees Celsius and putting it under pressure pulls the gold off the carbon and back into the solution. 
The gold cyanide solution is then pumped to an electro-winning cell, where contained gold and silver is turned into a sludge. The gold sludge is then filtered and heated to over 1,300 degrees Celsius, which melts it to a molten lava-like state. The gold is then ready to be poured into molds, finally producing doré bars. Slurry that is left over after the gold has been extracted is called tailings and must be stored in an environmentally safe and responsible way. The detox process at Detour Lake treats any residual cyanide before it's released into the tailings area. Detour Gold is committed to returning the Detour Lake property back to a natural state once the mine reaches the end of its life. The progressive reclamation process will involve removing the entire constructed infrastructure, such as buildings, tanks, roads, pumps and pipes, and various mining equipment. The land will also be vegetated by fertilizing soil and planting trees and grass so that it can again be used by people and animals. Operating a safe and productive gold mine involves many different steps and includes many different people with varied skill sets. From geologists to truck drivers, millwrights to metallurgists, everyone at Detour Gold contributes to the process, from core to pore.